y'all, it's Abby, and today I have a full box of Toy City Laura, sweet monster. Now some of you may remember I received a 200% Laura figure, and she's my absolute favorite. I'll show it to you in a second, but that started my Laura obsession, and I got this set because it's very interesting. There are 12 figures in this box. And there are 12 different designs and a secret, obviously, like most art toy figures. But the interesting thing about this set is that there are 12 more designs. So there is a day version and a nighttime version. And I must say, I love the nighttime version. The colors are very, very me. It's my aesthetic. The day version is still stunning. A lot of oranges and yellows, you guys may know. I like the cooler tones, purples, blacks. I looked on their website, and it says that one box comes with 12 figures, obviously, and 12 designs. There are nine daytime designs and three nighttime designs. So, I'm hoping we get lucky. Obviously, we'd love a secret, and we'll look at the lineup together, but I'm hoping some of these orangey ones I get the nighttime version, but we're gonna have to open them and find out. Here we are, I got the boxes all lined up, and I just wanted to add that I have been seeing your comments about liking the top-down angle as well, so we're gonna be switching back and forth. Anyway, here's my 200% Laura, she is beautiful. So obviously, today's figures aren't going to be this big because this is a 200% figure, but one thing I do like about Laura is that they all come on the same stand, so they look very uniform. I'm gonna put her down. If you wanna see her in detail, I will link the video down below. And we'll just set her here. Here is the first box, and the cover of the box is a little on the plain side. It's very cute. There's little, maybe familiars, little minions. It's very cute, but I wouldn't get Laura vibes from this. But when you turn it to the side here, you can see the full lineup. Like I was saying, I really like the nighttime versions of these figures, but we're gonna see how lucky I get. I do like this matte box. I've never opened Toy City blind boxes before as far as I know, so we're gonna see how different they are. There is a card on the inside, but we're not gonna peek, we're just gonna open this up. Oh, I see purple. It's our first nighttime version. That was quick. Like I said, she comes with her little stand and some accessories. And the thing I love about Laura is her eyes. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to get this one in the nighttime version. So here's the card. It's holographic, very rainbowy. And we'll give her her accessories in a second. But look at that. This is her. What is this one called? Picnic Werewolf. And yes, I say wolf weird. I'm sorry. Werewolf. Werewolf. Ah. Look at the back! She has a pearlescent bow and a tail. As you can see, the daytime version is the orange one. So, one orange one in purple. That's a win. Ooh, Toy City also does the perforated bags. We love that. Here's the stand. Just says Laura Sweet Monster. It would be cool if it said the name of the figure, too. Very tiny picnic basket and a tiny, tiny loaf of bread. Maybe a baguette. I have a huge love for magical girls, so Laura fits into that obsession quite well. I don't know if she's holding that right, but something like that. So she's Little Red Riding Hood, but she's also the big bad wolf. And you guys may have noticed, but Laura has stunning eyes. Obviously, you can see it a lot better on the big figure. I know some people find doll eyes creepy, but I think her eyes are beautiful. Okay, she's gonna go up here. You can't really see, but she's on the end here. We're gonna take one from the other end. Box number two. Let's just dive right in. So this one I hope we get in the daytime version because it's purple anyway. I like the candy one. This one's fine too. This one, I really, really like the nighttime version. It's one that I would be tempted to just buy to have. Oh, here's the bag. Oh, I see some red. Oh, oh, this one's cute. 
Oh, Laura's so pretty. Here's the stand and a little lollipop. She comes with tiny accessories. So it looks like her little pigtails are candies. Let's pull the card out. This is Bloody Mary Hard Candy. Bloody Mary, it's because they're all monsters. I don't like horror, but I do like kind of spooky, creepy aesthetics, I guess. Like magical girl, I guess kind of Yandere vibes. Oh my goodness, I can't get this on the stand. There, I made the screen a little bit darker. Hopefully it's not blinding you now, but you can still see the detail. Kind of has a little bit of a Joker vibe. A little bit of, it's not glitter even, it's just like metallic specks on her skirt. She has like a little back cape. Skirts, translucent, matches her candy. The detail on these figures are amazing and the little cute heart bow. I don't mind this one in red. Box number three. You know what else is fun about this set is the fact that if you buy a full case, you're kind of gonna have an original set because I assume it's different for each box because you get the variants. That's kind of cool. Obviously, there are gonna be people out there who want, you know, two full sets. But I'm gonna be happy with what I get. Well, I'll probably add on some, but you know what I mean. Oh, here we have another vitamin color one. Oh, oh, this was the one I wanted in nighttime, but the design is very, very cute. She has not braids, but like pigtails and gummy bears. Isn't this cute? Oh, I really wanted this in the purple. Oh, and her gloves come separately. That's interesting. Oh, they're soft and rubbery. They're like gummies. Oh, that's cool. It's not just about like visual design. It's a whole experience. Okay, Laura, time to put your gloves on. Can she actually wear them? She can. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. This is truly a really cool design. Well, that's, I don't even know what the word is, creative. Cause obviously they could have just made her with her gloves on, but the fact that you can take them off and that they're gummy like, so cool. I'm not even bummed that I got the daytime version now. That's so cool. This one is yummy gummy bears. I'm already sad that we're not gonna have more of these to open after this. Oh, don't look at the card. I'm ready for another nighttime one. I see purple. Oh, is it? I think this is the daytime version. It looks, oh no, wait, she has white hair. Hold on, let's look at the card. The card's hollow. No, this one would have been fine for daytime. I think it's just a different hair color. No, I jinxed it. This is like the one purple one on here. I mean, she's still adorable. I love the design, but oh my goodness. I wasted one of my nighttime ones on a purple one. As if I knew. Oh my goodness. So the hardest part is getting them on the stand. Hold on. This is vampire velvet cake. I guess that's supposed to be like a cake because they're all sweets themed. The pigtails kind of give me skull panda vibes. The little poofs. Very cute. I wouldn't have minded the purple hair though. I'm a little bummed. I won't lie. Box number five. Let's keep going. So we should have one more nighttime, I believe. I said three, no, yeah, three nighttimes and nine daytimes. Snack. Oh, whoa, this one's wrapped up in a body bag. Oh, this is the cute one. I really like this one. Isn't she adorable? There's a new 200% figure that came out that kind of has this color palette. It's adorable. Let's see what else is in here. Just the stand, nope, a little lollipop, I think. Oh, I think it's cotton candy. She is a cutie. I love the rainbow. It's like whipped cream, little face, it's like a bear, I guess. And the back, she has a little tail. Oh, and her collar's fuzzy, it's flocked. This one's so cute. Her stand is scratched, it's like a little corroded. I'm gonna reach out to Kika Goods because I bought this from them and see if they can replace that. Here she is, actually might reach out to Toy City because that looks like a factory defect, not a shop 
damaged item. But here she is, I love her just the same. It's a very, very pretty design. And I like her little pop. They're gonna look so pretty all lined up. Okay, next one. Oh wait, yeah, that was a normal one. Here's the card for it. Oh, this one's chunky. Even though they're like all the same size, they're different. Oh, another body bag. Oh, this is looking reddish. Oh, look at her hat, it's flocked. Here's the stand. Huh, what is this? Is this supposed to be like a water park theme maybe? She has a teacup with a Nessie. What? Oh, this is cute, okay. So here she is, she has a donut ring on. It's called Freshwater Monster Afternoon Tea. That's Nessie. This is interesting. So she's gonna stand on Nessie, or the water, I guess. And the water just goes on the stand. I wish it would connect, but that's easy enough to fix. I can do that myself. Here she is. It was a little bit hard to get her on the stand. I don't think that's even on quite right. I'll mess around with it a little bit later, but I didn't want to break anything. I love, love, love the Nessie teacup. Very cute design. Alrighty, we're at the halfway point. Let's keep going. One more nighttime one. Which one do I hope it is? I don't remember. I just remember that a lot of them were purpley. Where do I open this? Here we go. Oh, I see some pink. Oh, she's cute. Oh, I think this is a nighttime one. Look at her pretzel hair. Oh my goodness, I love her. The colors they use, they're so vibrant, so pretty. And apparently I have no observation skills. This is the daytime version. Here's her stand and a candy cane. Well, that's fine by me. This is the daytime version. Oh, this stand's interesting. It has little, I don't know, like for her heels? Oh, so she looks like she's standing on her tippy toes maybe? I'm not sure. She is called Cookie Magician. I absolutely love the colors. I'm not a huge magenta pink person, but on Laura, it just looks good. Does this set not look good all lined up? I can't wait to see them. It's all opened. Just a few more to go. Will this be the nighttime one or a secret one? Imagine getting our first secret. That would be so cool. Oh, there's the snack. Another body bag. Oh, I see orange, but I see purple hair. What do we think? Is this like a chocolate kiss? Oh, that's interesting. Is she like a fox? Is that a tail? Extra feet? What's going on here? What is this? Her pearlescent hair is stunning. Let me see if I can find the card. Oh, it's a nighttime version. Uh, I got a nighttime version and it's orange. This is hazelnut brownie werewolf. 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 Anyway, it's a nighttime version. Wait, what does the daytime one look like? Hmm, it's that one. I mean, the daytime one's cute too. She has white hair. I'm okay with this one. I, I, it would have been brown for daytime. It matches the set. I will say the colors are all kind of cohesive, so that's cool. Here she is on her stand. Look at she has an orange tear. I love this hair. So she's supposed to be a brownie. Yum. Four more to go. Are we ready? What ones are we missing? Oh, this fox one. I'm excited for that one. I would have loved that one in purple. I'm gonna have to keep my eye on Mercari. Let's see if I can find them. I bet the nighttime ones are expensive though. Speak of the devil. Isn't this design nice? Little fox mask. Oh, she has the hard candy pigtails again. In a different color, obviously. She has three tails. The little fluffy collar. I like that they mix the flocked and like plastic. That's cool. Here she is on her stand. She is rock sugar for monster. That's cute. So it's just like a rock candy, I guess. I love the design. It's so good. And her eyes, so perfect. Okay, Laura, you stand here. 
there's actually a new set that's out. It's like werewolves tea party. It's so pretty. I am obsessed with Laura. Okay, three more to go. Let's keep opening. Oh, this one's a little chunky. Please be the secret one. Please be the secret one, please. Oh, here's a fun stand with like a little balloon dog. I don't know why some of them are in body bags and some aren't. Just different types of figures. Oh, I have seen this one before. I'm pretty sure it's not a secret. This one's called Strawberry Popcorn Clown. Look at her little bag. Okay, I'm gonna put her on her stand. Here she is. I guess that's supposed to be butter on the dog maybe? And her little popcorn hair. Skirt's kind of popcorn-y. She's a clown, but not terrifying. She has a little red nose, but I think she's still cute. But then again, I'm not really scared of clowns. I also don't watch horror movies, so I don't know how scared I should be of clowns. But my best friend hates clowns, so she's gonna hate this figure. Two more to go. It would be an amazing finale if I got the secret one. If you're listening to me, hello. Um, I think we're missing that one and that one and these two of course what if we got two secrets what are the odds actually i think if you look on the website you can see the odds stand laura oh i like this one it's like a ferrero ferrero it's that's another word i can't say ferrero <laughs> don't make me say it I really love with this set that they have two themes going on at once, like sweets and monsters. So this is White Chocolate Bone Lady. She's a little skeleton. Also, the color combinations, like the browns and the gold and the blue, perfection. And also like the glossiness of like her chocolate legs. And then her hair is kind of matte. They look so good. I love my 200% figure. She's still my absolute favorite, but... Just seeing them all lined up. Oh my goodness. I want to get more Laura's. Last one. Cross your fingers, everyone. It's going to happen. We're manifesting it. Ah, yes. The one I was missing. <laughs> Oh, it's a little jelly. Oh my goodness, this design. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, there is some reuse and recycling going on. This is the same stand as Nessie back there, but it's in a different color. And her little pigtails are ghosts. Can you guys tell? And her dress has a little face. This is sweet orange ghost jelly. Very, very cute. So I'm gonna go back and look at the nighttime versions and compare, but jung! I think I am very happy with this set kind of can't see them all. Hold on, let me scooch them closer together. There we go, you can see all of them now. Like I said, the daytime, nighttime, all the colors are very cohesive. It still looks like a complete set. And I'm very, very happy with the ones I got. I'm gonna find a nice home for her. I think I'll put her in one of my acrylic cases. Let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite. Like I said, I purchased this on Kika Goods. You can use my coupon code to let them know that you watch my videos and are shopping with them through me because that lets them know that I'm doing a good job at promoting them. But yeah, let me know what you think of the Laura figures. If you have any, I would love to see photos. If you have any of the nighttime ones that I don't have, I would love, love, love to see them. Please join me on Discord. We have a toy channel where we post pictures of all our figures and I would love to see yours. Anyway, that's all for today. Let me know what you would like to see in future videos and I will see you all next time. Bye!